Hi, I'm Yana Lance, and welcome to Friesen Lance Fine Art. Come on inside. Congratulations on your new gallery, which you have taken over from its founder, Andrea Friesen. You came to Sun Valley as a member of the Spot Theater Company, <laughs> and you guys have made a wonderful run of that here. How did you get into the visual arts, and how does this compare to theater? I fell into this world five years ago. Um, I started here at Friesen Gallery 10 hours a week as a graphic designer, and I just fell in love with this world. There are so many parallels between theater and fine art, but what's really special about fine art when it comes to the arts is it's tangible, it's tactile, it's something you can have in your home and wake up to and go to sleep next to. Versus theater, it's fleeting, it's ephem ephemeral, it's just one moment that you have to be there to experience. Whereas fine art is something you live with, something that can inspire you every single day. And I'm so excited to be part of this community and to share the stories of my artists with the community. So many people think that we're just in here in our fancy outfits waiting for people to come in and buy art. And that's not how it works at all. We're doing everything from hanging the artwork to painting the walls to marketing to working with Photoshop to show people what these will look like in their homes. We're coordinating art transportation, working with our artists. There's so much that goes into this world. And I'm fortunate that over the last five years, I have been methodically taught by Andrea how to deal with every aspect of this world. So I feel fully prepared. And I know I don't know what I don't know. And I have a lot of learning to do still, but I feel very confident going into this next chapter. I know you like to tell stories with theater, but you say I tell stories as well. Absolutely. Can you expand on that? Yes, yes. Every, every artwork, every career we represent spans history, right? This didn't take months to make. This took this artist's entire life to make because it's his experience, his story that is being told through all the work in this gallery. And it's really special because every story is different, right? You're gonna connect to different artwork than I would. All of our personal collections are so different and it's our own experiences tied with this experience, this relationship with these artist stories that make an impact, that make a difference. Hello, my name is David Hightone and I'm an artist from Seattle and I'm presenting my first show uh, in Sun Valley here at Friesen Gallery and couldn't be happier to be doing so. Uh, and to take a moment to tell you a little bit about my process and maybe some of the things that are happening in the paintings that might not be immediately evident when you look at them. The most important thing is that these paintings are actually made up of hundreds, uh, several hundred pieces of individually cut pieces of paper. So everything that you see on canvas started somewhere else, on a workbench or, or another place. And then, so everywhere you look, every facet is a separate piece of paper that was hand cut or torn to create the larger image. Some of these uh, pieces of paper go through some very specific processes that are a little bit unique to my practice. So when you see uh, any kind of a pattern like this, um, some of the areas up there, the floral elements down there. These are all painted, uh, they start painted on a sheet of glass. And the paint is allowed to dry and then uh, they are transferred onto another sheet of paper, leaving some of that information behind, a somewhat imperfect image. And these are uh, the themes, the, the process in my studio are the, uh, generate the ideas for the themes that are in my work. I'm very interested in uh, ideas of facade and presentation. There is a general sense that everything, all the work is projected through the lens of theater and still life. Um, so was this particular piece 
which is part of a new series uh, called the uh, Jade Mountain series, which was three, uh, three examples of in the show, was inspired by a moment in time that I had when I was much younger at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. And I walked in and they, have this, they had this beautiful jade sculpture. It's called the Jade Mountain, a 700 pound block of jade that it was carved into the shape of this mountain. There's all this incredible backstory about it, but that's not important. What's important was that I had this immediate, uh, this immediate reaction to it, that I projected myself into it almost childlike and, and traversed the landscape and found myself almost playfully uh, exploring the landscape that was presented. And so with these pieces, that's something I definitely want to invite the viewer in. That's the experience, the, the pure, almost childlike sense of play um, that I'm trying to present the viewer. My name is Anna Skipska. I'm a professional artist and I'm presenting my exhibition in Sun Valley, Frozen Lands Gallery, the opening of a new chapter of the history, cultural history of this place. Uh, an exhibition was designed, I, I started working on my exhibition in uh, early summer, the 2021, when the wave of high temperature of heat got Seattle and, you know, and incinerating the tops of the trees. So the trees from bottom, they were green. From the top, they were the color of, of sepia. I prefer the Latin pronunciation of that word, not sepia, but sepia. So that, it brought me the thought that I may tell a story with the color of sepia. Sparkles, like sparkles on my work, because this is actually, this is the trap for light. That's what I create, trap for light, I trap light. Light for me is life.